Excellent show today. We have a 3D artist who works in Blender, a tattoo artist who works on human skin, and we have a gouache painting. Let's get into it. Gora Becca. So I believe your name is Mahmoud. Uh, really nice stuff. The, see the negative space around here? All this bold, dark nothingness that frames your, your, your central concept. Really good. I love that. Uh, look at this. No hands on the clock. See, you're, this, this, this conceptual stuff is really neat. There's some other stuff I'm going to unpack later, but this connection you've got between the characters in a shadow is pretty remarkable. So I'm going to talk about that later, but let's jump to some of your other blender work. Really cool. It looks like you're getting in, finding the assets, playing around. Um, and I like that you're going conceptual with, with stuff. That's your tendency, so I would encourage you to keep going. Uh, yeah, like this big smiley face thing. You're working on text textures and surfaces. Stop sign motif uh, is coming in on your other work. There's a tangent here that's going to be distracting. Look how it lines up with the rest of the stop sign. So uh, unless that was intended, I would avoid stuff like that. Uh, let's jump over to this train. Look at the, all the darkness. This is very tough to do, what you did here, um, the way you controlled the values. But real quick, let me shout out this foreground uh, grass. It's nice and blurry, and it's a very important compositional element, so nice there. This radio, the storytelling, the guitar, the cups, the books. It's really, you got a storytelling uh, uh, knack here, which is which is great and, and even in this one like look at this piece it's a dead end it's got this nice gap that's uh that's like what's going on there that's the kind of danger that's cool I, I would throw in some some growth some vegetation and there's that sign again uh there's a cool like graffiti happening here like almost a warning up here i would instead of touching the leaves i would just not barely not touch it it just causes some it causes some nice interest when you do that. This this kind of work is more studies. I, I like this, what you're doing. Okay, so look at this. This is the mother of the son. Um, there's something happening. I think in a post you read, you said, my mom always believed in me. Like past tense, believed. Dude, you're pulling at my heart here. And then there's a position of this door handle. I think there may have been some uh, story there with your mom and her heart, possibly. This lighting uh, is so nice. And then look at the connection you made through shadows. This connection is being made so strong. So can't wait to see more of your work. Great job. This look. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say your name is Derek Turcott. Am I right? <laughs> this stuff, this... You do tattoo work. Look at this tattoo stuff, dude. You are killing it. Uh, look at the look. Look, this is so nice. I want a tattoo. I don't have, I have a little tiny tattoo on my stomach. On my stomach? It's a long story. I'll, I, <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. It's easy to look at your work and say, oh, the perspective of her eyes is this way, and then the perspective of the fangs are this way, and then the eyes are, but... So I can't, I, that's not fair to critique that because you are thinking of your canvas, which is really interesting. Your canvas is round, it's 3D, it's someone's arm, it's a bicep. So you're taking into consideration all these little twists and turns. So that's really neat. But how could I help you on um, maybe a critique or a review or some notes? Let me see. What I would, what I'm looking at when I look close at your art, like this, look at this, these grapes, this fruit. There's a, you're doing airbrush, which airbrush is great, but there's, it's hard to get those uh, uh, edges. So you need a hard edge on fruit. You need a soft shadow. You need highlights. You know what I mean? Like just if you wanted to dial in the detail on that kind of um, you know, subject matter, you could think of doing something like that. But I love the look, dude. You're so unique with this. So you know, don't let me... Don't let me discourage anything. I just keep doing what you're doing, but I do like to, you know, I can give some notes on how to maybe push it. Um, look, what would you do if this is a painting on your wall? What would I do if this was intended for a wall? I would treat it a little different. I'd say, look, this is the most important part, most interesting part, this chick who's green with a yellow mask. So, yeah, I would play down the bluish, you know, tone and hue 
and just show I showed a little bit of um, uh, room for that feather treatment you got which is really interesting but Derek looking great keep it up I and I want a tattoo from you so let me know how to do that <laughs> but uh, what was I talking about oh just lifting out some lights to make some interest around that wolf but great job keep up this tattoo work man looks great he do Rebus I looked at your piece, I'm a painterly nice, this is cool, that nose must be weird though. Then I saw your reference, I'm like, nope, that he's dead on. <laughs> but I do like faces like this that are interesting shapes. Um, so what I'd want to do is get this, I got a note for the jaw, how to make that feel more solid and round. And I dove into the nose just to flatten it out because I think you drew too much attention to it. So let's tackle this jawline. See this jaw? Feel? Can you feel that that form coming through? Um, that's in your jawline. Okay, I, I'm going fast. Let me just jump to the nose. So the nose I painted over. Look at the reference and look at yours. See how it's? There's not a lot going on there. So let's. Ju I just painted it flat so let's jump to the jawline i love how we can see his jaw right there very clear right that's a bone that's a something that this guy's not going to have when he gets older <laughs> so let's make sure we show his youth um here and see how it wraps around so what i would do is paint that uh, skin tone first because that's clearly coming through in his reference uh, then the trick though is to find this little jaw where where it turns in space, wherever anything turns quick in space is where it's going to give you trouble. So let's dial in on this. Um, once I get that looking somewhat decent, I throw the hair on, the patchy beard hair, and then the dark set. I'm like, you know what? That's showing the jaw a little better for me. Now your ear is a little bit out of proportion. I need to slide it back. I'm not going to do the full thing here, but see how that makes it click like a puzzle piece just fell into place, right? Good job, keep this up, uh, I really like your work. 